Welcome to this week's edition of Mainly Motorsports, and what a crazy busy weekend we had at uh, the racetracks right there, over there, located at Epping, New Hampshire, and Lee USA Speedway in Lee, New Hampshire. Uh, both had big events this past weekend. Mainly Motorsports was there, uh, bringing you highlights and footage and interviews from the winners and uh, top three in some of the divisions. And I'll tell you, it, it was if you were there, you know what you saw. You saw two great races, and if you missed it. If it's something that happens next year, you need to make plans to make a weekend of it, you know, the second weekend in May to be a part of a couple of great races that uh, happened over at Star Speedway and over at Lee USA Speedway. But before we get to those highlights in this week's show, uh, I want to talk about the biggest thing and the, some of the biggest news to, to happen in the state of Maine for racing goes over the last few years, and that's uh, young Austin Terrio, uh, Maine's, you know, chosen son, so to speak, uh, when it comes to racing, you know, I mean, Austin's worked very hard to give himself some opportunities and, uh, you know, and he's got a whole state pulling for him. And this weekend, he's going to be in the number five junior motorsports car over at Iowa Speedway in uh, the nationwide deal. And that's a pretty big gig. You know, that's, uh, you're getting in a car that's already won races this year, capable of running up front and all the resources. And Austin has a three race deal. and He's very excited about the opportunities that have been given him and appreciative of the people that have been stepped up to help him make this possible. So... Uh, we caught up with Austin a couple weeks ago and uh, see what he has to say about that as well as some of the uh, race plans he has up here in the state of Maine. So uh, enjoy what Austin has to say and make sure you tune in this weekend for the Nationwide Series and cheer him on in the Junior Motorsports car number five. So uh, let's hear from Austin on his big opportunity. Well, we're over here to Mulca and Racing and we've caught up with, I, I, I got to call you Maine's favorite son right now. I mean, <laughs> everybody's pulling for the kid from Fort Kent and they have been for the past few years, but uh, you know, got a big deal coming up with Junior Motorsports, the Nationwide Series, going in a car capable of winning that already has won. Mm -hmm. I mean, how excited are you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a huge opportunity. Um, ju just, to, just to get involved with a team, like you said, that's won races. Um, it's got really competent people, um, not only on that team, but the whole organization right now. I think Junior Motorsports, if you look at it as a whole, I mean, it's running up front. Chase has, Chase has won like two races in a row. and. So just the whole organization being involved with it, you know, you get to lean on all the crew chiefs that have tons of experience. And so th there's just, it, ma it makes me feel better as a driver. You know, everybody says, wow, you must be under a lot of pressure. But it actually, I think it actually feels better as far as knowing that you're gonna unload with a piece capable of, of running up front. You know, you, it just, I think it instills confidence yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. You're, you're showing up. There's yeah. no wonder. There's no, and, and we talk about that on the snowball derby level when guys go and they, they get some of the better rides and they, mm -hmm. you know, bring sponsorship money. Yeah. They're unloading, you know, like what you did with Brad's deal with Gary Crooks. You know, you know what you're mm -hmm. getting. They've been through it. Same yeah. with that group, yeah. you know. So really all you got to do is get in and drive. That's yeah. really all you have to do. Yeah, and, and, and besides obviously learning and, and gaining experience in these heavier cars, which... I've only had a can and start at Loudon, so it is going to be different for me. But I've talked to a few people, and, 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 and the main idea is these are all race cars. Um, there's going to be some adjustment, but you know, you get in, like you said, you get in, get comfortable, uh, know you're in a safe piece, a fast car, and just run laps and gain experience. And hopefully, uh, hopefully, we're around at the end. I, I'm pretty confident we're. We're, we're going to be capable of running inside the top 10. Yeah, I mean, it's a great opportunity. Three tracks, three very similar tracks. Iowa, Loudon, where you have a little experience at mm -hmm. with the ACT car and the K&N &N deal. And then... Fortun fortunate because of you. Yeah, you made yeah, that possible, you, huh? Yeah, you know, Archie, who's, who's <laughs> yeah. at the cup level, you know, he beat you to cup. Archie beat you to cup, but uh, no. It, it, but it was great. still a great experience. Yeah, and know? then, you know, Kentucky. So, you know, you're going to three tracks that, you know, that should fit your style, you know, with... with the ability and mm -hmm. the experience that you yeah, have. Really excited to go to a mile and a half. Um, obviously, we have to get Iowa and Loudon, just kind of under the belt. NASCAR wants to see how I'm going to do before they approve me for Kentucky, but that's going to be an exciting, exciting weekend. Um, you know, you, you watch you watch a mile and a half races, and it, they're just totally different. And it's going to require it's going to require some studying on my part, you know, beforehand. But it's going to be really exciting. Now talk about the process that's brought you there. I mean, you've worked so hard over the last few years, and you know, you know, and, and you know, and I'm sure you hear it, and people say, "Oh, they do this, and they get this given, and they get," you know, like any driver that finds success. You've worked extremely hard. You've relocated from Fort Kent, Maine, 
all the way down into the Mooresville Shallot area, mm -hmm. you know, on your own. You know, I mean, obviously you've got friends and people down there to, as a support system, but, you know, you left the family at a young age to go there and, and try to make this happen. Yeah, that's what it takes nowadays. It's so tough. Like you said, it's, it's so competitive. There's tons and tons of drivers, tons and tons of crew chiefs. I mean, everybody's trying to fill, fill in a small spot, and, 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 and it's, it requires dedication, definitely. It requires sacrifices, and it requires... You know, a lot of smart people, a lot of good people behind me. I mean, there's, there's tons of people behind me that are, that are opening doors and, and people that I can call and ask for advice on a regular basis. So that's really important to me, and I really think it's, it's helped me move up quicker as compared, to, uh, as compared to maybe somebody that just comes along and, and, and moves and relocates and not necessarily, and, and they may not know anybody. It's just really important to make those connections and, and build those relationships up. Yeah, and you've worked extremely hard, but uh, you know, it isn't only down there. You're, you've got your race car behind us that you were preparing for Beechridge, uh, the Southern Maine Motors, you know, sponsored race, who mm -hmm. they are a big supporter of you now. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. you know, so you have some races up here that, you, you know, you're not just showing up for a novelty. You want to win some races, right? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we want to we show up to all these races. We got six planned already, already Oxford. Um, we were at Oxford last weekend, but we're excited about the Southern Maine Chrysler Dodge Jeep 150 this weekend at Beechridge, and obviously the 250 and, and, the, and the 300. I want to want to try to win again, but uh, I mean these these are all exciting races. You saw last weekend how competitive it is. I mean you can't just show up and expect no. to expect to win these things. You gotta you gotta have your your um, your car together and your crew together, and everything's gotta click. So we're excited about it and happy to have them on board this year. And when I'm not racing down south, it's always great to come back up in here and, and have, have fun. Yeah, and you housing your car at the Malker and shop, and, mm -hmm. which is a beautiful shop. And, you know, Scott is a character. We all know yeah. that, you know. But Vicky, kind of like having that second mother, you know, when you're up here and obviously your mom knows that you're in good hands, you know. Yeah, that's important, that's important for, for, my, for my family to know that when I come up here, I'm, you know, safe. I'm an adult, but yeah. I got good people. You know, the, the Mulkerns have been a, been a huge help so far. And to have their shop, to have, you know, to be, to be able to talk to Scott, he's made, like he tells me, he's made mistakes. He doesn't want me, he doesn't want me to make them. Yep. So he's already made them. Um, Vicky's, Vicky's a great mother, like you said. She, she's almost my second mother. And it's, it's just great to have that, have those friends that I can rely on when I come back up here and yeah, no, so and it is a great opportunity for you. I know the whole state, once again, is following along with you and, and, and what you've got, and they'll be pulling for you, you know, and that's, that's exciting because, you know, I, I, I compare it to if you can make it, you know, now that puts the state of Maine even more on the prominent NASCAR map. You know, Craven made it, you know, Bessie and Santa had their shot to come behind them, you know, so if you can get that opportunity, and what you've done very well so far, maybe it just brings, you know, it opens up a couple doors for some others, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it all works out, but like, like we talk about a lot, it's, it's tough. There's a lot of people that are trying to, trying to break into the sport, but it, there, and there's no formula to make it happen. You just got to be dedicated and pretty much spend all your wake, all your, all the time that you're awake and focused on, on trying to make it happen. Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes, you know, marketing and all that oh, other stuff. Yeah, nobody even, you, yeah, you know, it's not, take what you're doing Saturday yeah. night racing and hundred yeah. times it, yeah. you know what I mean? And, so, and, uh, and, the, and it, it makes it fun too because it's challenging and it makes anybody that wants to make it, they, they got to step up and, and learn real quick in order to put the puzzle, puzzle pieces together because there is a window and we all know there, there's, there's a window and I think it's opened up a little bit compared to 10 years ago. Yeah. I think car owners are looking for a little bit more experience you know they, they we've we've had the young drivers 17 18 coming up and i think i think car owners are, are willing to take a chance on somebody that's a little older and has more experience yep so. no you're right so i know we're going to be pulling for you uh we'd love to catch up with you after iowa so you know tell the viewers and the fans of austin about the experience and mm -hmm. uh you know and you know how the whole race weekend went for you so yeah i'd, I'd love to do that and uh, really obviously really excited to go to iowa and everybody can Everybody can follow my Facebook page and my Twitter and, and all that kind of keep updated on, on how things are going.
Yeah, I know. So good luck, man. I mean, it's a big opportunity, and uh, you've worked, you've earned it, you, you deserve it. So well, from all of us it. at Mainly Motorsports, we wish you the best of luck, and uh, can't wait to hear about that first weekend's experience. I appreciate it again, Steve. Thank you. All right, and that's Austin Terrio. One, I mean, we've been watching him, it seems like, forever, and you're still only, what, 21, 22? 20. 20, still yeah. only 20, and it seems like we've been watching you forever. So 20-year-old uh, going to be making his nationwide debut over at Iowa, and uh, the whole state will be pulling for him. Hi, I'm Scott from Scotch Recreation. We're selling brand new campers for less than some dealers charge for used ones. New 30-foot 2014 half-ton towable models with super slides and bunks, just $16,999 or $159 per month. Save $25,000 on this new 2014 triple slide Bighorn. New motorhomes from Winnebago and Thor starting at just $59,000 or $393 per month. We take most anything on trade we don't have to feed. Scott's Recreation, Route 4 Turner and Route 202 Manchester, Maine. Don't let the other guys rough you up. Shop online at otmotorsales.com. Clark's Eastside Scrap and Westside Scrap, two of the region's most efficient scrap yards. Both locations have the latest and greatest equipment, along with large capacity scales that are constantly calibrated to ensure honest weights. Car crushing, roll off containers, scrap metal. Clark's Eastside Scrap in Chelsea and Clark's Westside Scrap in Farmingdale. Don't fix it, scrap it. Mainly Motorsports TV, brought to you by Moody's Collision Centers, now with seven convenient locations. Gorham, Scarborough, Biddeford, Portland, Sanford, Lewiston, and now South Portland. Visit us at moodyscollision.com. Southern Maine Motors, out to be Maine's number one Chrysler Dodge Jeep dealership, Route 1 Saco. Welcome to Mainly Motorsports. To order copies of a show, send a check or money order for $15, shipping and handling included, to Mainly Motorsports, 326 Roosevelt Trail, Windham, Maine, 04062. And please add a description of the show. Like I mentioned, we traveled over to Lee USA Speedway on Mother's Day for the Bullring Bash, uh, an event that was put together by uh, Jim Schaefer, you know, the mod, mod guys, uh, the racing guys. Uh, just some racing fans and uh, you know they worked together with Lee USA Speedway put on a big event on Mother's Day 34 mods showed up but uh, like any event it's pretty neat to be on the undercard so to speak the one of the support divisions I know on past 400 weekend uh, you know when the Bush Series used to come into town for different tracks or you have a big weekend event at Oxford or Speedway 95 or you know Wiscasset or, or anything you just, just to be on the undercard is, is special because you're going to race in front of um, a, a prestigious crowd, more people, uh, you know, bigger fan count, so to speak. So, uh, and that was good over there at Lee this past weekend. And I uh, want to show some highlights from each event and, uh, you know, had some great racing in the support divisions. And then we'll come back in the next segment and we'll show you highlights and hear from the top three in the the first, which we hope is the first of annual uh, Bull Ring Bash on over there at first race of the Tri-Track Open Series that you can catch over at Star Speedway in June and Seekonk in July. So uh, if you love modified racing, you know, you should have been at Lee, but there's still the opportunity to be at Star next month.
I just wanted to introduce How are you? Uh, How was it for now? Uh, I got to thank uh, you guys the whole from? team. Uh, Scott Sherman, SCI, Consolidated, Rupert uh, Warren, Harrington Haven. Uh, Who is that? Jason Hadley. Like, uh, congrats. congrats to um, Smacky and uh, Leslie. Um, to all the mothers, happy Mother's Day. I'd like to wish my uh, two friends that I'm having last night, Matt and Lexi. Yeah, I'm going to call there and we're going to help you out. Uh, but other than that, 
I don't think uh, the race guys did put on a uh, hell of an event, but today, you know, kind of like someone last the event, kind of the team was very appreciated, but you didn't know what was going on. Oh, you know what? If you attack the you could be an announcer. That was a pretty good speech right there. Well, I mean, yeah, that's all I was getting at. Well, you didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know what was going on. Award Champs LLC is Southern Maine's premier award supplier and official award supplier for many of the area's top organization and events. If you're in need of an award for a sponsor, employee recognition, fundraising event, or an entire sports organization, call Todd Mead at Award Champ. They provide the best for less with competitive pricing like the big online firms, but give you the personalized service you can only get from a local supplier. When you're in need of awards or personalized gifts, call Award Champs, where they'll help you reward your champion. Hi, I'm Johnny Wolf. And I'm Dan Wolf. We've been selling and servicing vehicles on Route 25 in Gorham since 1972. Wolf Auto Service offers state inspections, tires, brakes, and suspension. 21st Century Motors has a great selection of cars and trucks starting at $29.99. With no mortgage and low overhead, we sell and service at guaranteed lowest prices. We're just six miles west of Turnpike Exit 47 on Route 25 in Gorham. Online at 21stCenturyMaine.com. Patman's Redemption and Agency Liquor Store is located at 95 Tanberg Trail in Wyndham, Maine. With over 400 feet of hard liquor and 15 doors of ice cold beer and soda, Patman's can handle all of your beverage needs. And if it's wine on your agenda, we have over 300 varieties in stock. Then when the party's over, Patman's can handle all of your main returnables, and we welcome all bottle drives. And if you're late for the race, drop off the bottles and pick up the cash at your convenience. Hey, this is Patman himself. Just letting you know that Patman's is your one-stop shop for all your thirsty needs.
remember in the future up here in Modified, I've only run about 20 races in a mile. So to come up here with my team, we're low block, we build it in our house. I've ordered brand new, built my, by my cousin Norm. Norm has very nice in Tosa. He's leaving the blood. And he freaking rocks, man. <laughs> Everything you see here, we build except for that Troyer chassis. And uh, to sit right here where we're sitting, this is the biggest bay day we ever had. I sure got some bed stuff to fix for Thursday at Thompson. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, let's look at the work we're doing this way, man. That's my fault over there. That's pointed the wrong way, but, man, oh, man, you were able to avoid that skirmish over there. That tell us about that when you came upon. Actually, I didn't avoid it. I did caught a pretty good punt. It happened. I was right on him. I tried to dig underneath for the last turn. Yeah, I gave him that shot. I hope everybody's okay. It was nothing intentional. It was a racing deal, but I feel terrible about it. But you'll take it, right? Absolutely. I do have to thank a couple of sponsors. Shane Todd Motor bought me two tires for this week. Pete Schools bought me a couple of tires a couple of weeks ago. Everything else we wait and make, and we, uh, we pay for it ourselves. So those couple of sponsors are a big deal to me. So thank you very much. And thank you to the racing guys. Dick Williams, all his group, every single person here needs to think those, thank those guys because this is what short track racing is all about. And the money they put up for these teams and these drivers is untouched anywhere else. Thank you guys all very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Then is Perry comes home in third place today. Three yeah. comes home in second in the old blue number three. Hi, Tell us about that. I think the last few laps of this thing. Uh, yeah, we, we had a pretty good car right off the get go. And, and uh, you know, I talked to Stevie before the race and asked him what we should do. And, and, and that was Rod. So I pretty much rode around 20th up until about lap 50. And, and you know, I saw some light where I could take the lead. So I did. And, and then we uh, got that caution around 25 to go. And, and uh, that's when we and started to make our charge. Uh, we were just one adjustment away from being as good as Matt. It seems to be a normal thing in these open shows where I finish second hit, but uh, we got two more open shows we can try and, and see if we can beat them. I gotta thank uh, IEE Interstate Beach Track Control. They sponsored this car for this event. And, and obviously the bowlers, Greg Hardwork, Rabbit, Mike German, Jerry, my father, everybody involved. Uh, just everybody on the group, they did a great job. And, and I can't thank them enough for having me in this party. Great run for second place, Ryan. Thank you. Ryan Priest comes home second in the number oh, three. And speaking without winning, Justin Clement out of the car. Give it up for Matt Hurley! Winner of the Racing Guys Tri Track Series, race number one here at Lee Wednesday Speedway. And he's got cross. Florals around him, picking up flowers and trophies and a whole lot of cash. Let's get a chance to talk to him. If you must have a calculator installed in the dashboard of that thing, because you calculate how to get to the front at the end of these things. Yeah, this is, uh, this is me and my best here. It's a uh, short track, boring, open shows. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all moms. And I wish mine uh, over the phone, uh, she didn't make it, I wish she was here. Uh, but happy Mother's Day to all moms here. Great crowd. Thanks for coming. The racing guys, the Long Island Mod Maniac, these are the best shows you're going to see all year, I guarantee it. Here, Star in June and Seaconk in July, you're not going to see a better modified race all year than those three are going to be. So I uh, just appreciate them guys having it, everybody supporting it, and uh, my group here, uh, you know, they uh, we travel far, and, uh, you know, when we come and, uh, you know, here we are again. Well, talk about this race for you. I mean, running around the back for uh, at least the first half of it, and then all of a sudden, here he is in the closest seat. Well, I mean, uh, I, I don't have much experience here, but I pay attention to what goes on, and uh, I pay attention to all racing, uh, the, you know, all the different series, who's winning, who does what, and, uh, you know, so I may not have a lot of on-track experience, but uh, I know what it takes to win these shows. Got something you want to thank? Uh, like I say, uh, thank, thanks to everyone for coming, Mother's Day, uh, the guys for putting this on, and my team behind me, uh, great group of guys, uh, J&J Motorsports, BC Brennan still, uh, we came with a short group, uh, Rob from Connecticut and, uh, and Jill, so uh, it was, uh, we're going to take you home and uh, give the flowers to mom and uh, take the trophy back to Pennsylvania. Congratulations on winning the first ever Racing Guys Time Track Series race here at Lee USA. Thank you, I love it. Matt Hurstman in victory lane, and what a great win it is. And as you can see from the highlights that Dave McGuire put together, uh, some great racing. If you were there, you know what I'm talking about. If you weren't, you, you saw and you, you, know, you can tell yourself now that you missed something. But, you know, speaking of missing something, a couple of things you really won't see much of in the highlights, uh, but I want to throw a couple shout-outs. And first off goes to young Matt Swanson. Uh, he's 14 years old. Dad, John Swanson, used to run the old Bush North Series. Uh, you know, always had nice equipment, stellar, good family. Um, but his son Matt now is in the open wheel modifieds and they got him permission to run some of these tracks and 
What a great job Matt did. He wasn't around at the finish. They had an overheating problem, but, you know, he battled Justin uh, Bonsignor for the heat win uh, to win his heat and then start with a redraw. I think he started sixth or eighth and battled up in the top ten the, the whole time he was in the race, and then he started having an overheating problem, was dropping to the back, and uh, got black flag, came in. They tried to fix it, went back out, got black flagged again, but uh, real, real proud of how he ran. Uh, very young, nice young man, you know, the family has him grounded, they have him, they have control of him and, uh, you know, some cases you see these young kids, they, they, they kind of get a little cocky before they need to and uh, Matt did a great job over there and I know he, he gained a lot of respect from some of those competitors, so great job by him and another guy I want to throw a shout out to too is and that's Carl Fredrickson. We all see Carl uh, being the editor of Speedway Illustrated, you've seen him at the Northeast Motorsports Expo, great guy, do whatever he can to support short track racing and you know, he's liable to show up with his number 41 modified, show up at the last minute, not get any practice in, not buy any tires, but just come in and support an event. And what she did at the Bullring Bash, she wasn't able to practice Saturday, he came in Sunday, practiced, and I'm going to tell you, probably one of the most raciest uh, days I've ever seen Kyle Ferguson have. Just missed qualifying in the heat, went to the Conti, just missed qualifying in the Conti, had to go to the B feature and only the winner had the opportunity to advance, and Kyle drove his tail off, and really, I mean, we were all lo uh, joking and laughing about it, how aggressive he was. Usually Kyle's kind of a little passive and doesn't want to ruffle any feathers, but, I mean, Kyle got up on the wheel and uh, really did a nice job, and, you know, I didn't get a chance to see him after the race, but, uh, you know, before this aired, I have called him and talked to him on the phone, and, uh, you know, what a what a great job he did, and, you know, the, the winner of the 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 dash for cash, so to speak, took the thousand, uh, handed off the thousand dollars to Kyle, and he went on to the main event. And uh, Kyle was pretty appreciative to be a part of of the whole special uh, first race in the Tri Track Open Series for the Modifieds. And you know, really, uh, I'll tell you, my hat was off to him because he, you know, he's at the racetrack, he's trying to run his business, he's trying to be a promoter uh, of his own deal, and uh, to to, to get in the race car and try to help the show out, which he really did uh, and did a great job. So, you know, a couple of things that I picked up on at the at the event over at Lee, and I hope you guys all enjoyed the highlights. And we'll take a break, we'll come back, and we'll talk about what went on over at the other track over in that part of New Hampshire. I did not grow up in the car business. I started as a technician in a small garage, and now lucky enough to own my own dealership. I think buying a new car should be hassle-free with pricing up front. We like to negotiate with everyone the same way. Our goal is for our customers to feel good and make it easy and quick if they so desire. We pay our sales staff to help satisfy your needs, not to collect a traditional commission. Southern Maine Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Maine's only Viper dealer, Route 1 Saco. Award season event is going on now. For a trusted name in residential and commercial site work in the Southern Maine area, call Peter Pettit Excavating. We can handle everything from the complete house lot to those nasty water and sewer line repairs. Septic systems are another area that we specialize in. During the snow season, Pettit Excavating has the equipment to handle any size job. And when the race season arrives, be sure to follow the number 7 Hewitt's Family Restaurant Chevrolet on the past Super Late Model Tour. Call 207-282-9305 to get the job done right. That's Peter Pettit Excavating. Mainly Motorsports TV, brought to you by Scotch Recreation. Whether you're thinking about your first camper or looking to upgrade your current one, Scotch Recreation can help you. Get both our Route 202 Manchester and our Route 4 Turner locations and online at scotchrecreation.com. LKQ Core. Any part, any repair, anywhere. Located on Route 202 in Gorham. When you're in need of awards or personalized gifts, call Award Champs, where they'll help you reward your champion. Welcome back to Mainly Motorsports and on Saturday we traveled over to the Star Speedway over in Epic, New Hampshire, the, the facility owned by the Weber family for the for the uh, pass race over there. They hadn't been back to Star in a couple of years and a tight little quarter quarter mile bull ring is, uh, you know, you're going to see some what people refer to as short track racing and uh, it's exactly what you saw in all divisions and, you know, once again we have some divisions on the undercard and uh, you know, they all appreciate being a part of, uh, you know, a big event when a touring series comes in. And uh, Star had their Roadrunners and their Stricklies on hand to to be a part of it. And I know the car counts weren't what they're hoping because they still officially haven't opened for all their classes. So I know they're going to attract some more cars and uh, they got some big events coming up this year. You know, with the Star Classic later on in the season and, and you know, the SBM on June 14th. So you get a chance to, to get down to Star this year, you know, 
get down there and support the Weber family as they've done so much over the years for short track racing. But we're going to show you these highlights, and then when we come back, we'll have highlights from the past mod race, 20 mods doing battle, and uh, I'll tell you, a great job by, by some of those guys. And, uh, you know, so enjoy these next couple segments with some highlights from Star Speedway this past weekend. Sammy was going to leave that open, and once he did, I just had to try to fill the hole. That was it. exciting stuff. Who would you like to thank down here in Victory Lane? Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank my crew, John Preeby and Ralph Coombs. They help me every week. They do a lot of work for me, and they help me get it done. All right, your winner tonight in the Woody's Auto Strictly Socks, Epsom New Hampshire's Mike Williams in Crater 07. <laughs> Jacobson, he pretty much had the winning car here today. You know, it happens. It's racing. I've got to thank uh, Crow's Nest, Pub and Grill, Plasto, New Hampshire, Chris, Brian, you, Max, Brian, you know, everybody that helps out. My mom, my sister, my daughter, and Gage, and my dad, of course. All right, folks, he's two for two on the year. You're defending champion one more time for Billy Osborne. Award Champs LLC is Southern Maine's premier award supplier and official award supplier for many of the area's top organization and events. If you're in need of an award for a sponsor, employee recognition, fundraising event, or an entire sports organization, call Todd Mead at Award Champ. They provide the best for less with competitive pricing like the big online firms, but give you the personalized service you can only get from a local supplier. When you're in need of awards or personalized gifts, call Award Champs, where they'll help you reward your champion. online at otmotorsales.com. Not sure what brand tire to buy? Town Fair Tire has them all. Michelin, Goodyear, Firestone, Bridgestone, Pirelli, Toyo, Yokohama, Hankook, and more. No matter what size or brand, Town Fair Tire beats all the competition, even online prices. We'll also do a free front wheel alignment with any tire purchase. Name brand tires. The lowest prices. Free alignment? Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Name brand
you led that thing for a long time. I know you struggled with this car. You must have been happy for that long a lead. Yeah, you know, uh, this is a new uh, team for me this year, and a uh, new car for me, running the tour, and uh, we're real happy, you know, just getting used to it, and getting used to racing with these guys, but we're happy to run up front. Well, I tell you, the car came on good. You were uh, there for 34 laps. Last week, the car kind of faltered on you. Today, you got to have some people to thank. Yeah, uh, Bill, you know, the car owner, he, uh, today he's all by himself, and uh, he did a lot of work over the week, you know, trying to figure out what was wrong with it. He figured out, it been good all day. Uh, just, these guys uh, are a little faster today. Well, nothing wrong with that. Ladies and gentlemen, your third place finisher, J.R. Burrell. Finishing in the second spot. Let's welcome up here this young man. His name is Mitch Miller. Mitch, good to have you back in Victory Lane. Yeah, thanks. You just ran a good race, had a great car. Uh, fun track, having you back at Star. Just like to thank my family, Ramsham's crew, and everyone else who helped me out. Well, you started 16th. Next thing you know, you were mid-pack with nine down. A little bit tougher to get to the front. Yeah, just uh, struggled getting through a few cars and kind of lost a little bit of time. I think we would have been a little bit better off with a few more laps, but yeah, that's always the way it is. It sure is. And of course, with this here, you've got to be happy uh, you're going to get through tech this week. Yeah, we can only hope so. Maybe I bring this trophy home. All right, my friend. Mitch Miller, your second place finisher. And this afternoon with a solid run. Let's welcome up here the driver of the Quick Five, Mark Lucas. Mark, congratulations, a hell of a run. Thank you. I got to thank Pat for having us and uh, my crew for all the hard work keeping us going here. We, we're kind of limited on crew, but they worked it, worked the tails off to get us here. We almost loaded it in the trailer earlier today. Had problems? Yeah, our cooling fan wasn't working and we were just struggling all day. Well, you struggled long enough to get to the front today and uh, you got to be happy with this win. Oh, we're ecstatic. Puts you right in the battle for the hunt, and uh, next week, you got a couple weeks off to work on it now, don't you? Yeah, well, it'll, it'll be a good break. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the past modified main event, car number five, Mark Lucas. Today's vehicles are equipped with complex safety features, such as anti-lock brakes, seat belt restraints, and airbag systems, even collision avoidance systems. Not available in all models. Hi, I'm Sean Moody from Moody's Collision Centers. We don't wish bad luck on anyone, but even with today's technology, we need to keep our eyes on the road and our hands on the wheel. Moody's Collision Centers, now with nine locations in Maine. Looking for a great time, great people, and great food? Then visit New England's number one biker destination, Bentley Saloon, owned by legendary super modified driver Bentley Warren. Bentley's is a biker bar that welcomes everyone. Staying in the area, Bentley's has their own full service campground right on site. Tuesdays, Bentley's cruise night attracts car enthusiasts from all over New England. Located on Route 1 in Arundel, Bentley Saloon guarantees a great time. Check out the fun at BentleySaloon.com and see why Bentley says, who has more fun than us? Mainly Motorsports TV, brought to you by Bentley Saloon, Route 1 in Arundel. Stop by and see why me and my friends say, who has more fun than us? We do. Clark's Car Crushing, providing guaranteed honest weights with top dollar being paid.
first off, congratulations. You made a good run. Your car was great on those last three caution takeoffs. Yeah, it was great on restarts tonight. That's usually our worst part, and uh, tonight it was spot on. The thing would really go and get away, and and it made my job easy tonight with a car like that. We got a great crew. They they came and helped out last night. We worked late last night and uh, got the cars ready and got here. And just what a phenomenal day! This, I hate this track as a driver, but I liked it the last couple times I've been here. I've been doing a lot better, so I'm starting to put it up on the list a little higher. Well, three races, three different winners on the past tour. This is going to be one competitive season, isn't it? Yeah, it's huge for us, and a uh, good point tonight. I see Travis had some misfortune there, not really sure what happened, but, uh, you know, and Cassius had trouble late, and, uh, you know, a lot of good cars there. Took a hit in the points, and just, it's early to start points racing, but if we keep collecting these wins, we'll be right up there at the end. Well, I tell you, we talked about it last, uh, a couple, three weeks ago on my radio show. You have started to collect a lot of points in the qualifying heats earlier this year. That could make a big difference for you as well. Yeah, that was our downfall last year. We really didn't score many heat points, and uh, you know, this, today was a good indication of you know what we need to do. We we got a bad draw, and still you know we got a lucky break in the heat race, and got a good lane, and picked up some extra points there, and uh, just everything fell into place today for us. So sponsors, you want to thank? Uh, I got to thank Precision JLM, Scott and Vicky Mulkern, uh, My Washington Valley Towing and Recovery, PFC Brakes, Subway. Uh, five star bodies and uh, gotta thank a great crew and you know everybody that worked hard and happy Mother's Day to my mom and all the moms out there so uh, just on to next week and hopefully we can do it again. DJ Shaw the winner of the past 150 here at Star Speedway. Congratulations Richie. Two out of three good runs for you so far this year you gotta be happy about that. Yeah not bad considering that's a new car uh, it's only the third time we've run it so uh, D-Trade was kind of a struggle for us, but we like these little bank tracks, and I think we've got a set up to work with now. Well, you and Cassius were battling hard, lap after lap after lap, and it just was a racing accident over there in turns three and four. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, the racing deal, I guess they call it, but I don't like to do that, and uh, I'm sure he's upset, but uh, hopefully we'll work it out and go to the next race. You got some people you'd like to thank today, Richie? Yeah, Chadwick Bayrock, Skate and Sand and Gravel, Gable on Construction, Step Guys, all my crew, parents, uh, they make it happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your runner up tonight, Richie Dearborn. Mike. Boy, that was some tough sledding to get from fifth, sixth up to where you got at the end. Yeah, you know, we was just a little bit snug tonight, right in the middle, and uh, kind of hurt us a little bit, but. I'd like to thank the crew for doing a great job for us, and uh, you know we'll take third tonight. Well, I tell you, it was great racing. You held your own out there. You ran a lot of laps in that outside lane tonight. Uh, you know, I went better on the outside, and uh, you know, you just got to run where the car's good. And then, like I say, it was a little better up there. But like, I got the wall over here once, and that kind of hurt me a little bit. And uh, it was just wheeling really just a tight week to go. Well, I tell you, it looked like you had a lot of fun. The crew's out here with you again tonight. Some people you want to thank sponsor-wise? Yeah, you know, I want to thank Steve Perry, Mike Lux, and Mike Lydon, and Buster Bean, and the whole crew. I mean, you know, they're putting this good car underneath me, and that's what a, a driver needs. And, you know, we're, we're going good, and, and Mark's doing a great job for us this year, and uh, we're looking for a, a lot more good finishes. Congratulations, Mike Rowe, your third place finisher in the Star Speedway 150. Not sure what brand tire to buy? Town Fair Tire has them all. Michelin, Goodyear, Firestone, Bridgestone, Pirelli, Toyo, Yokohama, Hankook, and more. No matter what size or brand, Town Fair Tire beats all the competition, even online prices. We'll also do a free front wheel alignment with any tire purchase. Name brand tires. The lowest prices. Free alignment. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Name brands at discount prices. Town Fair well, I hope you all enjoyed this week's episode of Mainly Motorsports. Brought you a lot of racing highlights and uh, 
really encourage you to get out and short, uh, support the short tracks that are out there, whether it's Lee and Star down in New Hampshire, uh, you know, Beach Ridge, which is an open jet, but, uh, you know, Oxford on Friday nights, was casted up here, Speedway 95, Spud has an open jet, but, you know, some of the other ones that people watching online really support short track racing. It's uh, going to be a great season in 2014, and make sure you tune in this weekend as Austin Terrio makes his nationwide debut for Junior Motorsports. So, uh, we're going to show you some results from some of the tracks over this past weekend, and we'll see you next time right here on Mainly Motorsports.